Well, all of this presents Nick Clegg with a huge test of his leadership. His efforts to make Lord Renard apologise have failed. And while a series of Lib Dem women have the courage to speak out on Channel 4 News, their party leader still won't follow suit. We tried in vain to invite him to appear on this programme today, so instead I went down to a press conference where Mr Clegg was speaking this morning, although I didn't get quite the reception I was after. Basic decency suggests you should apologise. And that's Nick what Clegg was up Lord before Renard's dawn, be do. not so much to deal with the crisis besetting his party. As a matter of basic decency, you say sorry. But to do a range of interviews about a new mental health campaign. A speech on mental health isn't the ideal forum to raise questions about a political scandal. But after telling me he wouldn't be giving Channel 4 News an interview, the Deputy Prime Minister's aide made clear this was the only platform available. You've asked repeatedly for an apology from Lord Renard. He's repeatedly refused to give you an apology. I think it's an important point, and it's an important point for you as leader. Uh, how can your party... How, how can your... I'm very happy to... I'm, I'm really happy... I'm really happy to talk about mental health on the programme tonight. If, if Nick Clegg would come on the programme, I'm very happy to do that. I'll give you an answer, then we'll move on. Go on. How can your party have any confidence in you as leader if you're continually defied by a senior figure in your party. For a long, painstaking, fair, punctilious investigation into all of this, uh, he recommended that um, uh, an apology should be issued by Lord Renard because of the distress caused to amongst a, a number of his colleagues, a number of women in the party. I think that recommendation was right. I want to see that recommendation upheld. I want to see it delivered. And as long as Lord Renard um, is not able to apologise, I don't think it's appropriate for him to uh, rejoin the Liberal Democrat Party in the House of Lords this, uh, this afternoon. Today's events were set in train almost a year ago. Last February, a number of women told this programme Lord Renard had behaved, they say, inappropriately, and that senior Lib Dems knew but failed to take decisive action. We all kind of hugged up close as you do in a photo. Chris was stood next to me. He shoved his hand down the back of my dress. I felt really humiliated and very undermined and very shameful. In the following days, Nick Clegg's spokesman said it was categorically untrue that he knew about Lord Reynolds' behaviour before being alerted by Channel 4 News. 24 hours later, though, the Lib Dem leader admitted indirect and non-specific concerns had been raised with his office. Indeed, when indirect and non-specific concerns about Chris Reynolds' conduct reached my office in 2008, we acted to deal with them. Refused an interview with Mr Clegg to discuss this, I resorted to dialing in to his weekly radio show. And he left on, on health grounds, but of course the uh, issues that, um, that we, you know, the issues of his inappropriate behaviour were, in were in the background. Of course they were. By now, the Lib Dems had called in the police, but in September they decided there was no criminal case to answer. And the party began its own inquiry. Stretching over a 20-year period, a series of mistakes were made which left a number of women feeling seriously let down and for that there's absolutely no excuse. Last week that inquiry by Alistair Webster QC declared that Lord Renard had distressed a number of women and should apologise. But it concluded that the allegations could not be proved beyond reasonable doubt so he couldn't be kicked out of the party. If the party and the Lords backs Lord Renard they're implicitly against you so is it him or you? As I say, let's see what happens this afternoon. I very much hope uh, that he apologises. Nearly a year after I first asked for an interview with Mr Clegg about Lord Renard, this, an ambush in a corridor, is as good as it gets.